let me tell you something, son. I'm not hungry, Dad. I don't, no more, no more. No, 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 don't worry. We're not going to any kind of explosive gas stations today. I feel like we've been growing apart recently. Oh, yeah, we have. We've been growing apart. I wonder why that is. It's probably because you continue to fill my head with violence and death. Well, son, I thought today we would do something constructive and I would take you to go play pool. Pool? That's, uh, it's like very normal. I'm kind of surprised at this turn of events. Yes, son, uh, look, uh, we, right over here by this, uh, by this bus stop, we're not gonna have to travel too far to get to the pool table. All right, yeah, that sounds like fun. Where, uh, where's the pool table at? Oh, it's, it's right up over us, son. It's right up over us. Dad, what is that? a pool table what even is that so this is where the the wild dubai police officers go to to, to what to what to smash into giant concrete balls oh my god oh my god dad And that, son, is how you play pool. You're not my father. Hello, everybody, Grace to Blaze, we're back with more Beam NG Drive. Out here on the grid map, Gray has started messing with the props. And, uh, yeah, I decided to play a little, uh, a little police chase pool over here. And thus, I have prepared, like, a dozen, or I don't know, there may be even more than that, but there's a whole friggin' slew of gigantic concrete like style they're almost like giant marbles or pool balls and a massive half pipe and what i want to see is how well the vehicles can maneuver through this death trap now these little cars like this over here you know you got your little go fast cars with your dubai mobiles and your hirochis one touch from those I don't know how much they weigh, but one touch from those just gargantuan Zeus balls. And these things absolutely turn into tissue paper. Let's give it a little look real quick, though. Right over here, we have Cornelius Cornholer. He's wanted for using weighted cornhole bags during the event at the sporting complex. Let's see how he does. Now, these cars are pretty fast. They go about 200 miles an hour. But I think that what we really need is something with a lot of, like, oomph to get past this. Look at how well it's gotten past. That's incredible. One of the police gets completely shaved out. Cars going flying. Cornelius doing well. Slowly getting past. Oh, oh God. All right, I spoke too soon. I was going to say, getting past almost all of these gigantic balls. Only to get smashinated all the way at the end. And right there, that's a bust em up. The police have potentially the greatest stop stick version ever made. These gigantic testicular fortitude behemoth white spheres of marbleic power. You can see, now for some reason I can't get the light bar and dummies inside of these uh, Dubai mobiles, which is slightly unfortunate, but it's fine because we're going to have a whole slew of different cars to try and get through this course, and eventually we'll probably do something just absolutely ridiculous. You ever wonder what it was like to dance with death? <laughs> oh, here we go! Alright, passed it, passed it, made it, oh god! Oh no! Oh, one of the police vehicles is still in one piece! This is beautiful! Clobbered. The other police vehicle just got friggin' wrecked. But yeah, this one over here is uh, taking out our suspect car with the greatest of ease. The suspect car turned into a flapjack. Look, it's riding the wall. Very smart. This is a fantastic way to get away from all the different balls. I think that the police... Oh. Well, there goes the lovely tire. I was gonna say, I think that the police vehicle here may have enough oomph to get it all the way to the end of the death trap. This little, like, death run over here. But now I'm not so sure. All right, Cornelius is calling on two of his friends, Periwinkle and Chartreuse. We're gonna see if the three of them can get past this death run. Check it out here. 
Now we've got three different vehicles all vying for position. I gotta turn the, I wish the light bar stayed on. Here we go. Oh man, everyone is shoving to get ahead. Ooh! Oh, one's out. Oh, right over here. Look at this. Come on, baby, go, 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 go. Get that speed up. Oh my God. It barely even moved that that gigantic pool ball. Just, it didn't do anything. Like it bounced it a little bit and now it's caught somehow inside of the cosmic black hole powered mass of this thing. Everyone got crushed. No one made it through. They did get a little bit closer this time. There was only what, three balls left? Four balls left. There's only four balls left and they would have made it completely through. The green vehicle got obliterated right away. Just tires ripped off and everything. These balls are amazing. I can see the comment section right now. Gray loves playing with balls. You know what? If it's a beam NG, you're right. I do. All right, everyone made it through. Now right over here, this is usually where sadness and depression kicks in. You can see pieces of cars. Oh, the, the yellow one's getting past this time. Pieces of cars have gone absolutely flying across the entirety of the board. Now we are missing a bumper, but I think as long, well, now we're missing a lot more than a bumper. I think now we're missing a wheel and potentially the entire front end of the car. <laughs> oh, hold your horses there. Where is this dummy's head at? The dummy got decapitated. This is the first time that I have seen a full dummy decapitation. Oh, it's glory. Oh, his head is just like shoved down into his sternum. That's still pretty friggin' bad. What's going on over here? Let's take a look at uh, what the police have been doing with their time. And this guy looks okay. Um, you know, maybe a little front, front cave skull caving in. That's not, oh, this is pretty bad. This over here is pretty horrifying, and it lost the passenger side door as well. I think what we're gonna need is we're gonna need some like really beefy vehicles that can potentially make it through to the end of this. All right, we wanted something bigger and more powerful. So I've got three military trucks against the bomb squad. Introducing the Van Hooters triplets. They're wanted for going to Hooters and only ever ordering medium wings. Let's see how they do. Now I've got all kinds of like turbochargers and everything inside of these various uh, engines and stuff. So they should do fairly well when it comes to power. Yeah, you can see, finally, the balls ricocheting off of the chassis of the vehicle a little bit. They're able to take some of the punishment. <laughs> They're even able to thrust one of the balls out of the way a little bit. Over here now, starting to get a bit overwhelmed by the various balls as we see. Over here, the crushing slowly starting to happen, but it's totally possible that they're gonna be able to get past this. Now the bomb squad vehicles are a little bit more flimsy. They're not quite as potent as these giant military vehicles. But the question is, do they have enough power to squeeze their way through all this? Let's see, all right. Still moving, looking pretty good actually. Balls are just kind of flip-flopping over on the sides. You know what? I think they absolutely have what it takes. They absolutely have what it takes to make it to the end. Okay, so that you can get past these balls as long as you just have enough vehicular weight. Now that I know, however, that the bomb squad vehicles, I can put like a really weird engine in here that makes these things go ridiculously fast. I wonder how well something like these would do instead of the military trucks. All right, I've given the Van Hooters triplets speed and agility. Look at these things go. Oh, the folding. Man, when they get hit though, it hurts. They got a lot of speed in those engines, especially for the fact that look at the bouncing all over the place. Bomb squad vehicles getting detonated. Cars getting obliterated. This one blue vehicle, the door flying by. He's the only one that has a chance. The only problem is that there's other vehicles in the way. Just kind of brush it out. Just, just brush it to the side. There you go, buddy. There is a massive entanglement of cars ahead over here. All of the, all the frames and everything are just bending maniacally. One of the balls is just gonna squeak by the side of the, uh, one of the, one of the suspect vehicles. But he looks okay. Let's see how he does. All right, he's still moving, still doing well. Okay, that wasn't too good, but I think he may have enough juice to get past all this. You can see the dummy inside. 
looking particularly horrified as his engine continues to get pummeled. Uh-oh! Okay, bounces off, got it through, and I think, did we get... No, that one completely got stopped. So one of our uh, our red vehicle over there, looks like the entire backside is obliterated. You can see the ball just like double sm Okay, hold on. <laughs> real quick. What are, it, real, I mean, let's, let's be real here. What are the chances of this, okay? I mean, wh what do you see here? You see, uh, you see Mickey Mouse, right? That's what you see. Yeah, you see Mickey Mouse with the Mickey Mouse ears. Let's continue. The red vehicle's obliterated. The, it, it's... The guy inside is hanging his head in shame because there's nothing left of that vehicle. Oh, a triple ball beating! You don't get to see this too often! And finally, it seems like the, the engine won't start anymore. I think finally it just took enough of a beating. Probably blew out the radiator or something. Let's try it one more time and see if anyone can get through. We got close, but no cigar. Doing it up dash cam style. This is what it looks like when you see horror straight ahead. Oh, it just got... <laughs> Look at the destruction! Oh! <laughs> right inside the vehicle, a bunch of glass in your eyes. There's us looking back at our, uh, our good dummy gentleman friend as his life gets flip side upside down. That was a really good hit by that ball, too. I can't really say they're concrete. They say they bounce a little bit much for like concrete balls. They are more like just giant pool balls that you would play in a uh, in a pool table. That's what they feel like. They got a little bit more bounce to them. So I think we may have a few over here that has some energy left. You have a red one and one of the police vehicles. Now, the police light bar has apparently been completely shredded to nothing, but he's still trying to push it on through over here. He's doing well. Never mind, they're doing terribly. Now the red vehicle seems to be kind of weaving in between the different balls. Look at what happened to this car. Just all the I love the I love these things because the um the entire back box of the bomb squad style, the ambulance style comes apart. So you get to see it all. And we do! We have a legitimate winner! He makes it all the way to the end, kisses the pigeon of, uh, I don't know, attractiveness, and finally, one of the vehicles does make it through this insane death trap. Now, we've seen super big vehicles, and we've seen pretty powerful vehicles, and we've seen kind of fast vehicles, but let's go real fast. All right, we're doing it. If we're gonna go nuts, then we're gonna have the beast with push bars on the front. All of the vehicles have jet-powered frickin' engines on the back over here. And we're gonna see how they can do. If anything were to break the game, this would be it. Right over here. It's the trio of felons known as Hanson. They're wanted for bringing Mba back from the dead. Let's see how they do. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is gonna be ridiculous. <laughs> we're doing it! Oh, no! God. Oh, mother of all that is holy. The damage is absolutely monstrous. We do have one vehicle over here that looks like it still may be able to squeak through. Look at it go. Even the green beast is kind of soaring up and over all the obstacles. Technically, it kind of got past. Is anyone still alive? Look at the debris field. All the... the the tanks and the bumpers, the police vehicle over here getting shredded as it hits a few of those balls. Oh, the jets were fan- well, this is a fantastic idea. I wanted to get the opportunity to see a lot of the damage, so I didn't want the jets all the time, but man, when you got them, when you got them, things get absolutely ridiculous. Here we go. Look at the speed. Look at the agility. Look at them all make it past, and then right here, just absolute carnage from all sides. All the vehicles get ripped to shreds. The one police vehicle over here kind of going sideways, but this time everything got obliterated. Like before, we had a few vehicles that made it pretty far past, but for whatever reason, this time over here, everyone got shredded. Just everything got hit all in one little pocket over here. You can see there's some extra damage kind of over by this area where one police car barely made it any place, but the rest of everyone made it right about to the middle before they all got obliterated. Let's see it right about here. 
Right about here. Yeah, you can see. Right, in fact, let's slow it way down over here. I wanna, I wanna see exactly where everything begins to go really, really wrong. It's right about here. It makes it past this one ball, but when it hits this thing, going like 250 miles per hour, look at it just fold in on itself. Everything else as well, getting lit up by gigantic pool balls over here. The toppers of the of the vehicles flying through the air, doors getting ripped off. Now, unfortunately, like I said, to put the, uh, the jets on here, we can't have dummies. I would love to have dummies and jets inside at exactly the same time, but it's like they take up an accessory slot or something. Hold on. We've got, we've got some contenders over here. We've got some contenders. The police vehicle's gonna do it. It's gonna do it. No, no. <laughs> Oh, how could it get stopped all the way at the end? It made it so far. Anyway, folks, that's going to be it for this episode of Beam NG Drive, where we got to put the half pipe from hell together. And man, is it freaking awesome. Oh, how satisfying. If there's anything else you uh, want me to try, I mean, I can certainly attempt to make it happen. If you got something, feel free to put it in the comments section below. And if you want to make the YouTube machine happy, beat the old like button to death with some pool balls. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love. <laughs>